Pick up your gear and open your chests. Throw on your armor and head out on a quest. Hey, hey. It's a brand new day. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rivals of Waterdeep. This is uh, episode 10. Episode 10 of season yeah. 15. Wow. Uh, yeah, which is uh, pretty, pretty good. But, but not the end. But it's not the end. But it's yeah, usually, it's usually not. Yeah, no. that's a That's a fair point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually, usually we have 10 episode seasons. But oh, wait, uh, there's well, more. We have, a, <laughs> yes, we have a longer season. Th- th- thanks to all the folks at Indiegogo, um, all the supporters uh, for... Uh, Helping us make this longer season, yeah. Um, for season fifteen, uh, so let's go around the table and announce who is who, who you playing, all that good stuff, and let's start with who I think is Latia, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yes, it is me. I am wearing a mask because I want to. Uh, hi, I'm Latia. Um, I hope I'm not that muffled, but uh, I play Yahani, everybody's favorite Eric Coker monk who, I don't know, is going to commit crimes or something. But my pronouns are she, her, and so are hers. All right. Let's keep on going uh, counterclockwise. Tanya. Oh, hi. I didn't expect it to be me already. I'm Tanya Sycroptier. I am your paladin ranger with a skosh of barbarian, uh, Slisa Stario. Pronouns for both Slisa and myself are she, her. Who knows? She may just be like, well, I got to go to a wedding, though. What do I have to dress up? That's gonna be her. Break the strict dress code of a wedding. Yep, <laughs> sure I am. Works. Uh, uh, Brian. There's a dress code. Okay. Hi, mm-hmm. I'm Brian. Yeah. I play Virgil, your Asimar Storm Sorcerer. Uh, Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, they. And now I'm worried that Virgil might not be dressed to impress. So, and. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure Kent brings extra, extra like five wardrobe changes. He could probably borrow. Uh, uh, speaking of, Genio. Yeah, hey, everybody. I'm Eugenio. I'm Dion Jesse Hens, and I'm playing Kent, our Asimar. Nope, our Tiefling war. I almost said our Asimar Tiefling. I got to tell you, mm-hmm. our Tiefling uh, <laughs> r- Phantom Rogue. Both of our pronouns are he, him. And he has been waiting for this day when Virgil asks him to dress him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you have the episode. Uh, I'm sued. 
Hey everyone, I'm Masood. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and I play Gosric Nomrad, everyone's favorite socialist businessman, druid construct. Um, sometimes chef, sometimes detective. Uh, honestly, right now, living to the like category of rock gnome uh, to a full extent. Uh, but we'll see what he and I get up to uh, in this episode, and depending what Sharif has us do. Yeah, and I'm Sharif. Uh, I'm the DM for today, uh, and also uh, Shaka, Tiefling, Celestial Warlock. Uh, we're both he, him. Um, and yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Um, you know, as I've shared in a lot of the previous shows, I really like how this season's been going for us, kind of a little bit all over the place, like depending on whoever's in the chair. It's been great. Um, Masood, why don't you hit us off with some of those uh, ad reads? I would love to hit you with some of these sweet, sweet ad reads. Well, First and foremost, we'd like to give a thanks uh, to the folks that make our game more awesome. They've been helping us out since day one, but D&D Beyond are, is what we use for our digital character sheets and access to book content. You can check them out on dndbeyond.com. There's usually a giveaway in chat, so be sure to have to be here live to get access to that. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast, uh, come in and see some of our last, sh last live shows. We only got a few left. Come on, uh, check it out. <laughs> We're also proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Uh, you can check them out at dieharddice.com. Thank you, Brian. Uh, use the code RIVALS for 10% off at checkout. Some beautiful craftsmanship all around. And they feel great when you roll them as well. We don't talk about that much uh, when we're showcasing dice, but dice feel, I think, is really important as much as dice look. Um, and talking about the feel of some other great objects, we love our geeky gear. We love all of our nerdy swag. Go on over to Stormcrow. You can check them out at shop.stormcrow.com. You can get some great mugs that say their name, but you don't put them through. So this one you shouldn't actually accidentally like leave in your sink for like two days. Uh, that's on that's user error. But uh, all over the wear and toil of like three to four years, it's been holding up great. Uh, you can also uh, order this on the back pages, but we'll talk about that. You can hear about that in our previous episodes. I don't I'm going to <laughs> interrupt the ad reads for probably the first time in a really long while Please. to say that I was really afraid about what you were talking about feeling. <laughs> I huh. had no idea what was going to happen there. And uh, <laughs> I just want to, I just want to let that, I just want to let that be known. No, 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 for sure. Like I said, uh, the great thing about when I'm in control of the ad reads is we don't really know where we're going next, but somehow it'll make sense. Like a ship at an, uh, the sea at night, you just have to hope that they're calm and steady and you just hear a soothing voice. Like our voices through blue microphones. You can join the Rivals crew if you want to sound oh so silky smooth. Check it out at crew.bluemike.com slash rivals. Uh, we're also partnered with Idle Champions. We're just moving right along uh, by Codename Entertainment. You can type exclamation code for this week's free Electrum Chest. And for the record, every one of the Rivals is available in Idle Champions. You can get Kent. Virgil, Shaka, Solis, Dahani, and Gazrik, as well as Disco, Pest, Fenris, and Familiars. There's so many options available with the stacking multiplier, but you can truly make a dominant, dominant squad. Um, you can unlock them all, and there's even some specialty uh, skins available for some of the rivals. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about the Chef Gazrik skin, but it does change your ultimate, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good time. Uh, we are happy to be here. We also want to thank our Indiegogo folks. Um, truly, we couldn't be able to do this season without you. We are so grateful for your support, and we hope you're enjoying uh, our final ride as much as uh, we are. Um, and with that, I'm going to throw it over to Sharif. All right. Very cool. And I will then throw it over. I will catch yeah. and throw it over, uh, even though I can't catch. Uh, uh, horrible, horrible athlete, guys. Um, <laughs> uh but i will i will go to catch it and then fumble it and then look like i'm gonna catch it and then drop it mm -hmm. and then look around and then pick it up very slowly and then i'm gonna toss it uh two-handed underhand to uh to uh to why LBT. am i being attacked like this <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a lot of people this, listening are like, like yeah so what you're saying is the next time the six of us are in the same place we're playing baseball yeah oh, this, this, this this is my high school gym class <laughs> baseball is not the sport i thought we were gonna no, no, pretend no, 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 to right. play uh, <laughs> we're gonna play a sport well uh, if we're ever gathered together maybe in chicago or not we're gonna do whirly ball 
where it's oh okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. you're you're exactly. you're in go karts. No, you're in bumper can, cars. You got. I can do t ball. Stick. I can do t ball. No. That works. T ball's fun. I um, I got injured playing whirly ball. Never again. Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, I, my coworkers at the time yeah. had a hidden competitive streak that came out. Sure, of course. Of and course. I was bruised for two. Oof. Okay, okay. These are good things I, to know going in. I've never done it, but I've always wanted to. And I was like, oh, we should. <laughs> I secretly push it on groups. <laughs> yeah. So, All right. like, Sh- like Sharif in high school trying to throw to first base, he will throw it over Latia's head, but she will miraculously catch it. Um, <laughs> or, the, or the whoosh. Yay. I can only mime so much. Anybody, any, anybody, anyway, uh, get your whooshing apparatuses anybody. ready. Anybody, anybody, I mean, anybody can whoosh. <laughs> All right, yeah, but... previously, mm-hmm. uh, futurely, uh, <laughs> during the timeline, this one time on, this one time on, Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. No, that, that that's good. also the first time we've diverged. Right. I think so too. I mean, that's true. That's I right. Mean, divergence is a good it's a good theme for this season, to be honest, because yeah. we are yeah. sort of like that is the most canonically accurate whoosh that I think we've had. <laughs> this one time yeah, on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> true. I, like I like it. it. I like it. Oh. We're doing the previously are the one time on, and I just realized I don't have the document open. Uh, oh, God. Cheat sheet. Oh, no. Oh, no. My I cheat sheet. That means you have to go off the head. You got to go off the head. So this yeah. season, uh, was it two it's not weeks open by ago. the whoosh. I don't know. It was two weeks ago, <laughs> right. which has been tough for us to keep track of. But uh, we started two days after the Dimension Door moment, which was roughly like within the first week from the Schultz incident. Oh, yes. And mm-hmm. um, Faye got Dimension Doored into like a pocket of some place underneath Waterdeep. And last we know is they're kill billing their way out of there, um, one five inch punch at a time. Uh, and so Elise, in the meantime, did some retail therapy, uh, went on a yes. shopping trip with Kent. Uh, and then also had a good talk about what was going on dur- throughout it and how others may see them. Went to the Hall of Justice to commune with Tyr and had a really wonderful conversation about uh, sort of what their direction could be and how Tyr's influence still exists. Um, and uh, Ken asked uh, why Solis is still a paladin, which we had a really nice conversation about. Eh. When you or just rather a like pondering, that, it sounds so intense. Yeah. Why are you still a paladin? That is not what it was. Wow. I mean, it was kind of like that, but yeah. it was really like that. <laughs> let, me, let me try again. Let me, let me, let me read it back. Let me okay, thanks. Thanks. And Ken asked, Solis, why are you still a paladin? <laughs> That's not no, that was more condescending. Standard. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it was worse. It was okay, no, it was good. It's good though. I'm glad we did it because it made the first one sound better. Mm-hmm. The yeah. tone changes depending on what word you stress. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah it really does. Salise, why are you still a Salise? Salise, meanwhile, is retreated okay, somewhere but let's, with a bottle of whiskey. Maybe in the after show, we need to examine what the what the version that is Salise. Why are you still a paladin? Means mm-hmm. I, okay. <laughs> Okay, no. <laughs> it's not that's what's gonna bring up the doppelgangers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But think about it. Think about what an assault that would be on our enemies where there's 10 Salises, which one's the real one? <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Anyway, uh, <laughs> after uh, after Salise uh, had her moment with Tyr, I uh, we were back with Kent and Virgil for a little uh, a little interlude with us. Um and Kent's got a package. And it was from uh, my rarely mentioned uh, devil mom, uh, who is presumably back in Cania, and it included a little spell scroll and a tuning fork attuned to my plane of origin. Uh, and so last we glimpsed Kent and Virgil, this is about a month, uh, a month after um, the end of our previous adventures in Chult. Uh, and we headed to Kenya to to meet the parents. Yeah, and it was it was it was addressed to KJ. It was so sweet. It was addressed to KJ. That's yes, right. KJ. KJ. It was oh, wait, I, gotta, I didn't write that down. And <laughs> to AKA KJ. AKA Tuck. Don't forget that. Is, oh right, Ken. Yeah, Tuck. A junior? <laughs> Is that what we're assuming? 
No, no, no. No. Can, K is my initials. KJ. I got KJ. So my brother-in-law is Brian Jr., but everyone calls him BJ. So in a moment when you said, well, they shouldn't hey, do that. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, they should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> that's, that's honestly, he gets nothing for it. Like oh, truly, man. gets no. He's like six seven, so I think that yeah, helps. Uh, okay, there it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honey, what happened after we went to Kenya? <laughs> Uh, so after you all went to Canada, well, not after right. you went to Canada, but the next sure. thing that happened in the episode uh, <laughs> was that uh, Dahani uh, was asked to return to Chult for some uh, elemental nonsense happening with the volcano. Um, this is about six months after the resolution of the Chult incident. So, um, she goes and she actually ends up staying about a month or two, I will say, because uh, I thought about some stuff that I wanted to explore in her backstory that we might get to next time we play. Oh, I haven't mm -hmm. told anybody else about it. So look forward to finding out. Yeah. And we find out um, Shaka uh, after nice. he introduces uh, uh, one of his uh, games to the to the rivals uh we saw the inspiration not the inspiration but he got some help with creating shockeration uh from his patron who came to visit him uh at his puzzle shop and kind of break down and help him realize really what was going on with the vanathar and you know his inheritance of this power and sort of what it what it means um so he's finally you know kind of got what's going on um and yeah it was a pretty pretty cool scene and and it turns out that that happened right before meeting. Yeah, pretty sweet. We we'll should explain all the crit fails. It was exactly. Right. It happened right before meeting who? Nara. Nara? Oh yeah, sorry. You just yeah. went a little quiet on the for the audio. Recording. Oh, I did. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is my volume fine now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. No, it's just weird. Um, that's yeah, weird. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's what happened with Shaka. Yeah. I can't. Who we left? Gosric? Yes. Um, but I did uh, the Solis callback only because I had the thing ready. So I didn't <laughs> document feel... open. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gosric, Gosric, came, Gosric came out of his, like, what are we really calling, like, self endosed hibernation or self fossilization or whatever? Oh, I like self fossilization. Like self -fossilization. Yeah. 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 Actually, of being an actual will, construct. It will look like. Um, a lawn gnome version of Gosric, a oh. massive lawn gnome. Uh, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and this is five years. So, wow, like, wait, five years and two months. Like, there's a lot. Five years yeah. and two months after the Chult incident and mm -hmm. had a moment with Kevin because Kevin, um, Kevin's eternal, I think, at this point. I'm not really yeah, sure yeah. how long. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What the or, or he said Kevin the 84th. Days, so. I don't know. Yeah. It might be, oh, <laughs> God. They're all that. named Kevin. Yeah. They're all like all of them are named Kevin. They tell a story <laughs> to each one through acorns. It's fine. Um, but like realizing that at that, nothing had really happened that required his or any of the rival's attention in that six months. And that's got him still thinking about like change and things staying the same and what happens. And, um, he did find out that something had been keeping various mass lords from attending meetings for a little while. So it's not like he was missed because I think the number, the general number of faces and weird voices is just like fluctuating a lot. And yeah. Yeah. We, we know, we know who it is after there was another chat about good and doing good in the right way. Uh, and mm -hmm. Fight the power. Yeah. yeah. Where has yeah. Walter? But, right. <laughs> it's not just not us. Cause we will probably taken out us. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and let's see. Uh, did we? Oh gosh! And this is like actually flipping back to you know Shaka's earlier prototype. Oh yeah. This is when at Troll Skull Manor, um, Shaka introduced us all to the wonderful home game of body horror that is Shockeration. Yeah, yeah. Body horror, but for kids. <laughs> oh my lord! That's actually on the box. That's on the box. <laughs> Uh, this was still the prototype where if somebody screws up, Shaka gets Shaka shocked, screwed. right? Yeah. Shaka just got shocked and started yelling. Yeah, um, I screwed. Yeah, got really good. I sure didn't know if he gets shocked. He just... Oh, no, I don't get shocked. I just oh, shocked. you just scream. Mm -hmm. I just scream. Shaka is the butler. 
You're it's one shaka included with every shaka. Start... <laughs> right. Yeah. You're gonna want to turn that spell off before you start selling this like <laughs> like like a lot. And it's like just shaka. Ah, oh, somebody <laughs> missed it. Somebody missed the money. <laughs> somebody okay. uh, yeah. Imagine we're on like a like a still like one last adventuring mission and we're trying to creep up on somebody and shaka. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, yeah. it was shaka uh, uh, Sorry. Oh goodness! Um, <laughs> any? I think that's. Else? I, I think that covered last time. I think all the loose ends. Right. Okay. All right, y'all. So, uh, as we said, we we sort of. I guess the most current moment was this kind of troll school troll skull moment with Shakarishan mm-hmm. about, about five years uh, um, at, um, after, and we're going to start uh, pretty close to that time. Um, I'd say say that day but maybe a day or two after so everyone is still in the area right um mm-hmm. and uh uh shaka comes to troll school um uh with uh dara um and uh who well i'll say well this is like sort of the middle of the day so like whoever wants to be in the sort of main uh area can be um but he comes in and he opens the door and 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 like says yeah this is it this is the manor and you know what i think we could get some chairs here i think we can hang some stuff here i think it would be great and then dara says no this would not be great at all Virgil! this is a this is a uh this is where you live. Well what well, well not now, but like this is where you did live. This is an active space. Like Virgil! Like this is not special. And like who is that yelling? Do you want that happening? Ken oh, comes what, storming what? down the stairs. Virgil! Virgil I can't find has, my shirt. Yeah. Virgil's been sitting there basically enjoying tea at the table, not <laughs> responding to a <laughs> single summons. <laughs> And waits until like Kent is visible. <clears throat> um, third hanger from the back behind your other traveling cloak. No, not I that one. Looked... The other, other one. I did put it there. Gosser comes upstairs. in wearing Kent's shirt. Oh, what? Yeah. Sorry, I came out of the golem and all my clothes had shredded, so I just needed something to put on to be decent. Virgil. Virgil. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just what? kind of turn. Wait, remind me. Gosrick wearing Ken's shirt. <laughs> He's gonna be a little long. It's, it's, it's a long shirt. shirt. It's a long yeah, shirt. It's, 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 really it's like a white tee. It's like a white tee from yeah. back in the day. Okay, all right. All right. Oh Gosrick is such an old man right now. His beard okay. is it, like to the floor. He's just wearing this night shirt, uh, a regular shirt for anyone else. What does it look like? Uh, it is probably gorgeous. It is long uh-huh. and blue, like blue satiny. Uh, it matches it matches the the uh, mithril in the horns, right? Uh, and it has these like mother of pearl buttons. And I just look at you, mm-hmm. and I take a long, slow, deep breath. And I take my belt off, and I walk over to you, and I belt it, and I'm like, listen, if you're going to wear it, you should at least make it look good. Thank you, thank you. I had a feeling a nice distinction at the waist, and he, like, goes to adjust it, and you look away, and there's now, like, a few, like, muddy thumbprints, because there's never, like, since being a rock, there's still just, like, a layer of dirt in the grooves of his hands. Uh, that was... Uh, I blamed Fenris for those prints in our room. Oh, you blamed Fenris. So has been sitting there with tea, half listening to Shaka and whoever this random woman is berating our say, home. I was just yep. gonna say, I um, think at this moment, and I, not able to look at Gazrik anymore, uh, turns around and finally notices Shaka and his oh, oh, hi, <clears throat> uh, friend's new visitor. Hi, oh, uh, hey, Shaka, is oh. this? <clears throat> This Hi. is who I've been telling you about. I'm yeah. Glad you're on your best behavior. Mm-hmm. Yeah, excuse uh, me. You know. 
this is this is Dara, everyone. And Dara. she looks and waves. Oh, Kent is absolutely delighted and like goes over and like, hey, hug, what are we? Hi. Remind me um, what does Dara look like? Have we she she's a dwarf cleric. You you, oh, you you've not met her before. Okay. Um, um so are you well, staying like Shock has for... been telling you about her. Yeah. Yeah. Are you staying for a month or how long do you need a room for? Has Gazer <laughs> Gossip just got him out of a golem. So has has we heard anything about Dara at all in this time? I don't think you would unless okay. you were asking specifically. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Sure. So how long do you need a room for? Um, you know, I, I'm sorry, Gossip. Mm -hmm. No, we're 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 good on the room, uh, Gossip. This is um, we're we're, and then he uh, turns to to like Dara and, and like says. What do we even call ourselves? Um, it's kind of weird with words and evils and stuff. Like, like what? what do we even just call starts us? chuckling a little bit. Um, Kent is hanging on to every word. He must <laughs> know the status um, of this relationship. And, and then, like Adara says, "We're together. We're we're we're, we're partners." And then, like, and then, like Shaka says, "We're partners." Okay. Aren't well, Nimrod currently isn't attic. taking new applications. Uh... Not business partners. Oh. oh, oh, oh! I know you've been a rock Sorry. for a while, but really, Dar things sometimes change. Oh, good! This is this is delightful. Dara, have you tried? Have you tasted Chaka's favorite dish? Let me go make some soup for you. I'll be right back. Oh, no. <clears throat> Meanwhile, um, as Gazrik is going into the kitchen, Dahani is coming out of the kitchen with a bowl of actual soup. Um, <laughs> real non ice spider soup. Um, and says, what's, hi, what's going on? What, what are you? You can't, you're not going in the kitchen with hands like that. What do you mean? My hands are always like this. In, no, in, they aren't. I take my foot out of my loafers and it's just like a, a uh, the sole is just a like a mini lawn. It's just grass oh my of the inside of the. I, I no. can't step anywhere without creating nature. No, no. so it's no. I'm just no, I'm, no, no. Okay, I, that's why the loafers stay on, guys. Right, but your hands are filthy. What? So I'm gonna have to do gloves now to be in society. Wash no, your just hands. Wash them. They, they, they can't. This is washed. I took a shower and I put this on, and this is still what is here. I am that... turning him by the shoulders and walking him up the stairs. Okay, okay, fine. You're going to find a lush bathroom. There's a lot of fog in there. Ew. And that's Tahani. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Kent um, is dying. Uh, and I do feel like this has been, there's been enough time. There's no way that we don't have like a fancy room for us and whoever we decide to come in. So I'm like, okay, we have not, this is not a good first impression on this woman who clearly Shaka is into and we must make a better impression and that is my job so uh why don't it is so lovely to see uh to finally meet you come have you gotten a proper tour of the manor that isn't here where Gosrick is no actually that's what I brought her here for to oh, amazing to see the place uh because you know we're thinking about you know possibly just just to get an idea of the place you know we heard you. I just want to show her where, where, uh, where, where I was for like a long time, and we might use it for something in the future. I can has insight check. Oh, <laughs> Please and thank you. I can has. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna roll too because you weren't being quiet. We can hear you. I'll, I'll give. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll give everyone advantage who wants to roll. Oh, oh, lovely. Thank, my god. Thank you. Okay, good. That's a 21 then, in fact, for Kent. Ooh, nat 20. Um, oh, yes, Virgil. <laughs> 21 on insight. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Which yeah. is, we know oh, Shaka okay. at this point. It's been yeah. years. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, he he's uh, blushing. He sort of has this uh, look over his face, and it's very clear that um, even though you haven't met her, he's been talking about her for, for a while in like a very serious way. Um, so, uh, he's definitely looking on planning, uh, you know, for a special occasion, Oh, or, <clears throat> which, uh, which, uh, you can fairly assume, especially with the nat 20, uh, to be nuptials. Whoa. Yeah. Unfortunately, Kent now is unable to speak. So, yeah. So first yeah, time so, for everything. 
listen. Yeah, so, so I'm glad everyone's here because we've been having a little bit of a debate. And I told her that I have some friends that can really help us out here. Um, I'm sorry, what? We're just having a small debate. Um, and we're just looking for some external help. So, uh, and then like a Dar Dara kind of uh, says, well, we're looking for a place to get married. Because he won't say it. Uh, there it is. That's, that is the noise camp. That is the absolute <laughs> noise that camp makes for sure. Um, and then like uh, Sh Shaka is blushing. Uh, and then like she says, um, well, it could either be uh, here. Um, or like, you know, or like we could look at just renting like an actual hall that's used for these kind of things. Um, you know, in I, uh, in uh, Waterdeep, um, I wouldn't hear of it. Shaka also doesn't have a fantastic history with renting out buildings in Waterdeep. It's <laughs> also quite true. Yeah, I did mm. hear. Yes, he he did tell me about that. Um, I guess I just don't want to be a like I don't want us to be a burden on this place. You know, perish the thought. How many are you expecting? Uh, this is still early stages. Uh, we haven't really talked about numbers yet, but but this place you can't imagine it'd be more than would be the capacity of this place. This place is huge. I'm looking like we're just looking around and realizing that Dahani has made Gazrick go upstairs and is like Brian, start taking notes. Yes. And and then uh he uh he would he's not really taking a pencil or paper, he just like he kind of looks like he's going into oh, kind of a, so a, smart like mm. into like like a, a recording mode, sort of like a big red light <laughs> blinking. <laughs> Headfo he like put headphones on and a light comes yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Kent is Kent is firing off little minor illusions of like floral arrangements and uh alter color or like whatever colors up where the thing and i just here and there just yep. he's he's in mode uh duo comes out um of the back uh in a tuxedo with a top hat uh <laughs> and he's holding a document and he says well well i couldn't overhear that uh you were thinking of using our brand new service that uh, we just started, uh, which is written out for special occasions, such as weddings. Honey comes down the stairs, like the honey's back down the stairs at this point, and just started. Did you forget about Rivals Con? Oh, I mean, they, they could be a, actually a pretty good combination of the two, actually. I think a lot of mm. people will come out to see. But <laughs> no wedding conventions. We're not having a wedding convention. Well, it's, it's, it's just a future idea. Just. Just like a future idea. Um, I will get out of this bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I'm just shouting from the inside. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, we have uh, some, uh, you know, we have some ideas for some spreads. We have some vendors we that, that we've already talked to that 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 will go do food. Um, and uh, we we have some um, some uh, musicians for some art. Um, we can really make this a fabulous time. Fabulous time. And uh, and and then you, you like see Ashaka looking at like duo, and he actually everybody make a perception. Oh goodness! Well, seventeen, um, twenty-two, and oh, four. And God, God's in the bathroom, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. There is a lot of scrubbing down happening yeah. and then re scrubbing yeah. down because it just keeps coming back. It's, it's I don't want to know what, what he's perceiving. I don't want to know. Um, yeah, so um, you, uh, everybody who got a 15 and up, uh, who I believe is Kent Virgil, um, you see Shaka kind of 
uh, you 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 know how like when a kid is is doing like a play or a performance, and there's yeah. always like a parent standing up, kind of mouthing <laughs> the words to them, or like trying to. Uh, you see Shaka, uh, sort of, uh, you know, giving Duo some some hints on a, a <laughs> uh, on a pre-planned uh, speech. That's really good. That's Aww. really good. Uh, and like you uh, can choose to share or not. It's up to you. I am busy decorating Troll Skull with my illusions. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, so um, you uh, see, like a duo. He, he like looks at like at, at, at like a shock and says, "Oh yeah, um, uh, we also have um, you know, we have a whole bunch of cool things. We have like we have chairs and seats of all sizes. We have all kind of dwar- we have chairs for dwarves. We have." Even chairs. Hey, even even if a certain golem wanted to come through, we we can have a little outside chair. Um, you know, we 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 have thought of everything, and by we, I don't mean me and Shaka. I mean we, as in old school manner. Have we? Yeah. I was just gonna say, have we? I mean, are I mean, like out of character question though, like. Are we Troll School Manor though? Like, or we just live here? Because I feel like the management is kind of, you know what I mean? Like, we might oversee I mean, things, but it does feel like. a character question for, for uh, you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for you in particular, I think. <laughs> oh, and, 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 and I think Gothric's coming to the conclusion yeah. uh, of that of like, no, Brian runs things. The duos I mean, are here. You know what I mean? Like, duo. both. Yeah. yeah the, there's three that, of them now. They were the that one that managed. True. They were the ones that managed Rivals Con and that whole contract. So uh, that's Ooh. true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So only one duo has uh, come up now. Mm-hmm. Come, come out. So you only see one duo. Uh, Shock hasn't gone into the multiple duo uh, situation with Dari yet. So let's just keep it with one. Yeah. One. <laughs> um. Oh, I can't wait for that interaction. <laughs> yeah. So. So. Um. Dara looks at like Shaka says, "Well, this is this does seem like it could be really sweet." Um. Okay. Uh. So now, uh, we're gonna go about um about two months later. Right. Um, in two months, would everyone still be at Troll School, or will folks be around? Who 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 would not be in Troll School? I, a little part of me, and Virgil, we can certainly discuss this uh, because I have grown in these three years and I'm a, a bigger person. Uh, but I do feel like uh, now that we know that a wedding is going to happen and if we manage to convince you to do it at Troll Skull, like you can't tear Kent away. Yeah, no. <laughs> the mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. He will not. Kent, Kent will not be like away from the mansion for more than perhaps like half a day at this point. And I have a l- checking in. Yeah. lot of work to do. <laughs> and I would say with that Gazik's in a similar energy and like if anything is like kent's planner of like okay so oh. we need we need like this schedule is like okay like taking notes of like yes. who needs to get contacted because yes. that Dahani, is yeah you know and, and dahani is there to design mm-hmm. because yes so the, yeah <laughs> as, as soon as like you know like she she's she's looking at like you know two months back she's looking at kent's minor illusions and like plotting yes. designs in her head so i guess probably like a week later she's got blue like she's got like drafts and, of designs and stuff to show to kent and shaka and dara like okay here's what we're doing <laughs> really glad i was first on that list yeah <laughs> um other than a promise from kent to help her pick out a suitable suitable attire Selise is spending so much time in the forest with fenris <laughs> no Sweet. Well, no, because like this is a little too much emotionally for her. Sure, sure. sure. And she's like, "I'm happy for you, but I'm gonna be out in the woods." Yeah. I also, but I also just love you and Fenris frolicking in the woods. I know. I love <laughs> that her. feels very That's healthy good. and a good like self care break. Mm-hmm. Now, are y'all doing this sort of? Have you like approached Shaka like? Absolutely. Want to officially do this, no. or is this y'all just? Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Surprise <laughs> wedding. That to... sounds no, the most way. Somebody else way. said something to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I certainly didn't. But they, okay. Yeah, because here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Kent has already gone into planning mode. Yeah. Uh, Gosrick has been Kent's Excellent. like little little planner guy. I got you. 
Uh, Dahani is probably the only one taking designs to Dara. Like, okay. So, oh, yeah, like sure. This, and then, like, bringing her suggestions back to Kent. <laughs> and, so, and, like, Dahani's the runner. <laughs> I, I, I imagine Shock is none the wiser. Pro- probably. Um, yeah. yeah. Virgil's still trying to get a, a body, a head count. I, I said that wrong. Head count. Mm-hmm. It's it's it's, Man, it's uh, adventurer us? speak. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Is, um, is that part of the wedding? You just want to know our body counts? Wow, sure wrong that, uh... body count. <laughs> no, oh my God. sorry. I have a, no, no, no. What do you I want just, to know? Yeah, what? <laughs> one I don't keep How many track guests of, and are we one expecting? is a number I don't just, want to share. Oh wow, I feel bad for I, even starting. I really want to know which um, is which. <laughs> yeah, okay. How many people are we expecting? Yeah, I'll say in the two months, I'll say that you are able to gather uh, probably from either uh, the running that um, Dahani is is doing um, that about about uh, uh, not too bi- uh, 75 ish. OK, OK, 75 ish. Mm, I think at that Virgil would try to float to Kent the idea of using the inside of Troll Skull for um meeting reception and gathering but if there's less than 100 people perhaps setting up the actual ceremony outside of troll skull near the fountain so that actually was exactly what i was going to say is the one thing that i do think kent would ask because uh despite his momentary blindness about any sort of propriety about any of this uh we are who we are and we've gone through what we've gone through here in waterdeep so one thing that i he would have specifically probably asked i guess gosrick to ask Tahani to ask shock and dara uh is whether or not they want like this is meant to be a a public affair that water deep is aware of yeah so let's say <clears throat> yes yeah, so like let's say that you have a would you ask shaka that on your own or like kind of like no that's what that's what Gazer can to honey or for yeah, okay. I, I suggested so I suggested many other things Kent, to worry about. And then Kent, right. uh, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> right, a yeah. Who, who, oh, see, yeah, Virgil is secretly at the top yeah. of this pyramid. I know. He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> is my wedding a pyramid scheme? Is that mm-hmm. what not, yeah, not, don't tell God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You go start selling tickets. I, I no, have to keep on guys, recruiting on. other people to get married. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's even like, better. Yes. <laughs> We do do wedding con. We are now. Yeah. Oh God. Oh no. Um, Okay, so 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 um, yeah. So uh, whoever wants to, yeah, who who wants to speak to Shaka about <laughs> Dahani? Okay, yeah. So um, yeah. So uh, Shaka, he like comes in and like says, uh, yeah, just want to check in, see how things are going, guys. Once again, I know we're all rich, but I still would like to pay you guys for your services. This is like, I wasn't expecting y'all to do all this. Um. However, I do have a couple of requests. Yeah, what's up? Sure. Okay, one. I would really be happy if these three people are involved somehow with the wedding. Okay. One. Lairn. Really? I mean, I've been I've been going over um with the biddies and he's he's doing great. You know, and I'm, you know, in this new role I have, I'm all about rehabilitation. I'm all about people getting better and growing. And I think this will be a great time for him to show what he's learned and to get a good positive experience. I mean, that's why you chose to bring him to Waterdeep, right? To get positive experiences, you know? So it would really mean a lot to me if we could involve him. Now, I understand if, uh, if, if there's extreme pushback, I won't. But I think I actually think this will be good for him and good for 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 uh, everyone. As he says this, Virgil Virgil fixes Kent with a look and says, "Well, it is your wedding, so what you want is paramount." Kent and makes a new okay. wedding okay to show to Kazrik to show to Dahani to show to Dara later. <laughs> okay. Just um, like the hand up. Okay. One other. Um, oh, wait. Just, just one. Sorry, sorry, two. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry. Two other. Two of three. <laughs> um, anybody remember Jerry? Remember oh, Jerry? yes. Yeah. 
little uh, fractal comedian. Uh, yeah, Jerry. Yeah, that was uh, that I was uh, kind of working with uh, from Strixhaven. Um, mm -hmm. I told him he's he's totally down um, to, uh, as I said, maybe do some entertainment or may, maybe just help with some design. You know, he can make himself all different sizes. Maybe he can put some stuff up on the on the top of the ceilings or you know all kinds oh. of stuff, right? But he <laughs> he he just wants to help. He wants to help. <laughs> mm. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Three of three. Flippy, uh, who, uh, oh, Flippy, yes, who was also from Strixhaven, another fractal that was, um, you know, uh, kind of managing, um, you know, uh, s some of the affairs that were very, very organized. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing at something in the chat that actually would have been funny. I didn't think of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just very, very organized, a bit of a taskmaster, but I think can really be, um, you know, like we saw how the, how they were in that awful, awful job um, when we were at a uh, trick saving. So I think that, like, a, 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 again, as a person of rehab, mm -hmm. of, 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 <laughs> of 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 uh, making people better, right? Mm -hmm. Of uh, giving people opportunity. Um, if y'all could find those three people roles, I'd be super happy. What do you guys think? I, I, Absolutely. I, think, I mean, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sure. I mean, Clippy could kind of do my job. I'll be real. Okay. I, Great. I was, I was more thinking Great. Clippy would be able to manage, perhaps Shaka, you know, perhaps be able to uh, make sure that Shaka is in the right place at the right uh, time. Mm -hmm. That's a good mm -hmm. but, that's nice. But we should find somebody to take over for you eventually, Gazric, because I will need you, once we settle on arrangements i'm gonna need your help growing them oh of course yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, i mean they have to be fresh on the day for dar i mean look at her she can't we're not gonna like get previously cut flowers for no 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 no. i'll do something where they Beautiful. age really fast and then die really quick and then i'll just stop them before dying really quick and then we'll be good oh oh, oh you mean you, you, mean you could from have stopped at the, to... you could have stopped at the age right really yeah fast part i think yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's okay. No, I, you know what? We learned from this interaction that we don't ask how Dazric does the things he does mm, for us. Uh, nature yeah. is gross sometimes. Yeah. Well, I'm really glad that you guys said yes because they're outside. Oh. Um, what? <laughs> and as we say that, we're gonna we're gonna flash to Celise in the forest with Fenris, just hanging yeah. out. Uh, <laughs> you look you look really worried. I um, don't know. Uh, uh, tell me what 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 kind of things would you do out there? Is it just walking? Or are you doing something like looking for something specific? What 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 kind of adventures are you having with Fenris out there? Um, practicing her archery because she is she's not as proficient with a bow as she is uh, with her sword. Um, spending some time kind of getting to know Fenris a little bit better. Um, trying to not train him because he is still a dire wolf, but um. I forget. Do we say Fenris can talk or no? I mean, we you have speak with animals. I think. I was gonna say. I think when you did, it was because of your magic. But I don't think we gave him a language. Yeah, okay. I don't remember ever hearing. Anything. Well, that I I am using then speak with with animals and just kind of talking to him. Um, and this sounds weird because there's no way to say this without sounding like weird. But she feels like lost without Kent, oh. because Kent is so has just gone all in on being part of the wedding. And obviously she's happy for Shaka, but she's wrestling with her own emotions. One, having already lost a wife, but then getting betrayed by Faye. She's trying really hard to be happy for her friend, but she can't find it right now, thus staying in the forest. Um, and if she finds anyone in the forest, she'll talk to them. She spends a lot of time communing with Tyr. Um, and just trying to like find her center again. And she's ruminating because... Damn you, Eugenio, for that good question of why am I a paladin? Yeah. Like, yeah. why am yeah. I a paladin? And she like, she's got a spot in the forest, kind of like that same hut she was in when Tyr came to her. Mm. And she's just like ruminating on a lot and wondering, why am I a paladin? Like, I struggle with light and dark, good and bad. Do I want to be a paladin anymore? And what would I do if I'm not? Love that. Um, 
so yeah, as you're sitting there um, in the hut, kind of ruminating, um, you hear what sounds like something uh, flying above you. Um, uh, sounds pretty, pretty, pretty loud. Um, and then it lands uh, kind of next to you. Well, like not not next to you, but like a, a little bit farther farther away. Um, okay. And uh, if you go to look, you'll see it is a rival. Oh, favorite but ship. Just... Well, I'm guessing when rival landed, hopefully I didn't get blown away when a spaceship get... landed. <laughs> I mean, you can make a a, a, no, a yeah, 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 saving yeah. throw if you like. <laughs> no, I just was like when you. I thought like it would be Voltaire or another like Aracocra. We said nope. landed near I mean, you. Day's not over yet. Day's not over yet. <laughs> we still have an hour, so um, um, I just look. I'm like, oh, hey, rival. I've learned to enjoy the forest since I've been out since I was out here for a while. So. Sometimes I just come out uh, in this area. Didn't know you'd be here. So. I'm usually not, but I'm taking a little break. Okay. Any updates for me? Just uh, in general? And she starts listing off all the things that have happened recently. <laughs> um, and then she oh. gets to you, and, uh, and Shaka is betrothed. And oh. that's kind of what everyone's been super excited about. Oh, betrothed. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Well, that's a, joy a joyous occasion. Joyous yeah. occasion. Um, do you know if Walther has been invited? Uh out of character question. Do I know that? No. No. No, I don't know, or no, he hasn't been invited. No, you do not know. Uh, no, I'm not part of the arranging things. Um, but well, I, I will could ask. I can. Uh, I could just tell him swiftly if he's been. In, I mean, how could he not be invited? It's not my wedding. I don't know. That's not how things usually go, rival. And at least has a moment where she's like, "I'm talking. I'm explaining wedding customs to a ship." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he 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 does not. He, uh, why? Well, well, I, I should, shouldn't say he. He's like, what's this computer? Um, uh, right, 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 right. I was like, I do not understand. Betrothed. Wouldn't everyone be invited? And so Sleece just pours herself a drink. Is like, okay, look, I'm going to try to explain this. Sudden bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> look, she, did, she didn't go out to this hut unprepared. Sure, of yeah. course not. Of course not. Of course not. Yeah, um, yeah. I love it. And so she, you know, she's like, ex she explains like, you know, just because someone gets, they get engaged, they decide to join in matrimony. That doesn't mean every single person they know will be invited because there's space considerations. There may be people they don't like enough to have at their wedding, or they invite them but kind of hope they don't show up. And I, I start going through all of the social things. And if I'm getting this wrong, someone who is married, please correct me. I don't no, know. No, no, no. You're definitely right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I never got married. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, explaining the, you know, Again, I'm not handling who gets invited, but I don't see why Walter wouldn't get an invite. Um, I don't know the the bride at all. I don't know how many people she wants to bring because Slice is very intentionally kept away from all the preparation. She does not know anything. Well, um, Walter has been very busy. Mm, really? What is he been find, doing? Trying to find masked lords? Why? I mean, I know why. I just want to see what the ship tells me. Um, I've computed possibilities, and to be honest, it's pretty irrational. Just seems well, to be his direction, and I've learned when a organic being makes a decision, they stick to it almost to a fault. Mm. Is why I'm off by myself. When I'm with him, he just rants on and on about 
finding his purpose. Oh, that explains all the little blue birds I've seen recently. It must be Walter. Uh, tweets. Tweets Chirps. all around. Yes. Chirps. Um, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I've been spending more and more of my time uh, in the forest. Not to, we still work together, but he's volatile. Is he a danger to himself? Um, if he's by himself without me, he's harmless. Ah, uh, so without you there, he can't do this great hunt for the mass lords. He can, but the probability of success is minimal. Not not significant. Hmm. Should we be concerned about Walt's hair? Well, he did rescue me from being left abandoned, really. Um, we know we've gone over this rival. We've apologized. So I do feel I, I owe him uh, some level of um, teamwork. But at the same time, um, he's just rational. So for the greater good despite what you feel you owe him. Would you not say that it's likely better to keep an eye on Walter so he can't hurt other people? Yes. Um, and if he gets really bad, then you have the ability to keep him on your, keep him there, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes. But I would not, um, Ever since I've came to this uh, water deep, been trying to do less um, that kind of thing. Oh, I mean, only if Walter becomes an absolute danger, not just because. Yeah, yeah, I I, mean, I can't imagine him being an absolute danger, um, but uh, I don't know. He did say he was inspired by. Uh, your friend Dahani, and just seems to be just very, very fervent. Um, mm, how well, about uh, this? Mm, go ahead. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I... That was a human response to a ridiculous suggestion. Did I fly you to him or him to you? Uh, I don't want him showing up here. Should I fly him to the betrothment? No. Fine, we can go talk to him, but he doesn't he doesn't listen to me, nor does he like me, so and I may tell him things he does not want to hear because I have no reason to lie to him, so I'll take me to him. And I look at Fenris, guard the house. I mean the the hut in the woods, but okay. Um, he did mention he was near heading near um, uh, Roll School Manor. Um, um, so I can fly in cloaked mode and drop you off. Sure. And now, just out okay. of character, I have this vision of Salis just dropping out of the sky. Just out of nowhere and people freaking out, but let's run with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to uh, find a secure place for you. Um, yeah, so, uh, so, uh, arrival, you know, doors kind of go come down. Uh, you go in, seems kind of familiar since you were in it for that really long trip. Um, mm -hmm. that you that 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 you took, but it's been kind of redecorated. Um, okay. Very badly as well. Um, uh, kind of, uh, yes, it's the equivalent of like, I guess, someone writing in crown on something. So there's all kind of things that say, you know, Walt there's uh, army. I forgot the oh. name. That, that, I forgot the acronym. Oh, that's used. terrifying. Yeah. So, uh, yes. FWG, wasn't it? Field Ward? Yeah, it was like F. Field Ward Guardians. Like Field Ward Guardians, yeah. yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. So and I'm horrified at this. Yes. Yeah, so, like, so there's oh, all no. different ways of writing FWG, like he's trying to come up with some kind of like logo. Oh no. So there's like a big F and a small W and a big G. Oh, no. There's like a there's like a W with like a F and a G and a little in like little grooves. Um, okay. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different things in there. Um yeah, so you guys speed off. Um uh you're cloaked. Uh and it's uh rival says hmm, I can drop you off in the back. Sure. Uh there's not many people there now and uh I can get pretty close. I have a silent mode. Okay, just drop me off. Not too high. Remember, I'm I'm flesh. I will break my legs if I jump too far. Oh, oh, I've 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 computed the possibility already. Don't worry. That's kind of threatening. Mm. Right? <laughs> I'm like, how do I respond to that? Like, I mean, oh, no, your bones, right. your bones but, shouldn't yeah. shatter from this height. I've calculated. Yeah, it's, it's, not threatening, it's not threatening to rival, which is yeah. okay. spending way too much time with Walter right now, is all I'm going to say. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, like, yeah. Um, I have concerns, as the kids say. Yeah. So, like, so, like, rival actually gets pretty, pretty, pretty close to the ground. Um, okay. And you can pretty much just do like a, a you know, you're like five feet off the ground. And just oh, okay. Pop off and you're fine. Um, All I'm right. not going to make you roll <laughs> falling damage. So it's not going to be like the division <laughs> where I jump two flights and don't break anything. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Or like, uh, well, we'll get into stuff. Because like, that, like that'd be another podcast. Uh, let's just say a lot of fall damage <laughs> I've experienced uh, in that game. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Trying to dive. Some <laughs> tears, missing, perchance. M- missing water. Yeah. <laughs> um, Why are you calling yeah. me up, though? <laughs> um, yeah, so um, as you as you come uh, out and you go to the uh, front, you see outside of Pearl School Manor, you see Lairn. You see... Uh, I think you would remember... Well, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 just say that you like can like remember. Yeah, you you see Clippy and Jerry and Laren, mm-hmm. kind of in a group on the outside of Scroll School Manor talking. Okay, and um, where is Walt? Where am I supposed to be finding Walt here? Uh, Rival mentioned that he should be around the manor, around the manor on the outside. Okay. Though, not inside. okay. So you see those three there, and you also see oh. I mean, Latia has it. You see Walt there uh, uh, on the outside looking through a window uh, inside. Oh, of no. The He's like standing up on like uh, basically kind of like a uh, like some blocks of wood that he propped up on the side. And he's peering uh, oh, through a mirror. Oh, my God. But, but like it's kind of in like a darkened part, so he's kind of not really that visible if like you're not like looking for him. Oh but, no! But uh, you, 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 using your power in a sense, like you definitely. And I'm physically bigger than Walter, right? Oh yeah! Oh yes! Uh, I'm just going. I, you know what? This b- between what I saw in the ship, what Rival told me, and now seeing him basically spying in the window, being a creep. I'm just going to, like, come behind him and bear hug him and, and pick him up. It's like, okay, we have ha- we need to have a talk. Oh, what are you doing? What are you, you doing? Are, what are you doing? I'm just looking in. You're looking into our home. Why are People you staying stay here? This isn't just your home. People that makes here. it worse. This is oh, you an and your inn. rules. Oh God! It's not rules. It's I just, decency. I was just checking it out because I heard that. Uh, hey, did you know that Chaka was uh, possibly getting married? Yes, he's my friend. Why wouldn't I know this, you weirdo? I just I heard it, and and I just wanted to. I didn't hear it from anyone else, so I thought I would just check 
Check out. So well. instead of just walking in the door and asking us or asking Dahani who you know, you decide to spy on us like a creep. What kind of fun is that if I just walk in? You got to gather the intel first. <laughs> then you go in so that you're prepared. That's like you a are F- not a spy. That's like a FWG. FGW or FWG. I forgot already. Um, <laughs> um, um, it's, you write the first it's, time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a FWG motto. Always be prepared. You know, that's also a paladin motto, and I don't do things like this. Yeah, but you have the benefit of like common God. sense. You have a god. No, common like sense. I don't go I just spying. Have that should tell you a lot. Fine. Can can you let go of me now? No. I'm going to carry him into the manor. (laughs) You're going to walk in with him. Basically, I caught the Thanksgiving turkey. (laughs) And, you know, and I just like, I've I've, I've got like full like arm brace. And I just walk in and I like yell for everyone. I don't know if other people are in. (laughs) Um, But I'm just like, group meeting. Right now, uh, yeah, and, and as you walk in, because you know this is like literally the moment when Shaka says that they're outside. Uh, <laughs> so, as, so as you walk past Laren, Clippy, yeah, well, they they kind of walk in like behind you, basically. Oh no! Um, so it's you with with Walt there in a barrow, uh, Laren, Clippy, and uh, and what? Uh, and, and uh, Jerry. What in the world? He was not on the list. Mm. We already, we already have like arrangements for a bard. Um. So our our feathered friend here, that is not our murder burb, was staring in the window, standing on blocks, and said that he had heard about your wedding, and instead of just asking us like a regular person, was just staring in the window like a creep. So here. I'm not a creep. You are no peep. A little creepy. A little mm-hmm. creepy. Mm-hmm. There. It was. Yeah. I'm sorry, it but was it was a little creepy. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was just a little embarrassed. That's all. I know. Okay. If I just Thank asked, you. if I just asked, based just on our last what? interaction, like you'd probably say no. So I had to gather something, <laughs> and then maybe I could come in and make a suggestion. Like, hey, I noticed that. Uh, for like, example. You- Wait, and why he, do you hold on? So let me stop you right there. I know you got ideas, but let me stop you. Why mm-hmm. do you think anybody here would want ideas from you for their wedding? Because everybody needs ideas. No one's perfect. Nobody There's said always that, but options out there. Nobody knows you like that beside Honey. And like we if we wanted ideas from you, we'd go to you. Would you? Hmm. If wrong with we you? wanted ideas from you, then we would go to you. Well, I hate to break it to you guys, but the FWG is a bit of a failure. So I'm looking for other, oh. other, really? uh, other roles of, of employment. Oh. Uh, well, oh. can can I suggest a career path that does not involve peeping in people's windows? What happened to Highlock? Is he not the... Yeah. I was going to yeah, say, the Castlanders should be still... Oh, Did and you completely Doug. desert Highlock for the FWG? <laughs> well, like, it started off as a bit of a side hustle. Sure. <laughs> and, 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 and I... Uh, Did you make your hobby your sole income-bearing yeah, responsibility? I, oh, yeah. damn it, oh, Walt no. there. Buddy, I, we've talked I, about this. I oh. just heard of a lot of people that became full-time streamers just left. Yeah, but job. you gotta so understand, I, I, like it's I about the timing. Yeah. I'm so mad right now. I want I have, also, so I have to go die, so <laughs> I wanted to be Bye. full-time. So many, so much ad revenue. <laughs> so many partnerships I had. I can't they all went right down now. south. They all went down south. Oh so, my god. I almost did you, my um, trick. Okay. I, Walter, did you at least was the separation from Highlock amicable? Well, I guess I'd have to be there to know. I kind of ghosted him. Uh, uh, Just but... stopped going to work. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, I'm done. I'm just going to go. I, they don't need to know I about mean, it. Zero guilt feeling about just like... <laughs> I love 
I mean, good, good for good for Walter. Good for. It. I mean, to really tell you, um, I was just there. I was just hoping that I would find out more about these mass lords, and I just couldn't find out anything. You know, and, that, and do you guys think that there's a chance that some of them might show up at this wedding? Okay, bad vibes I in the wedding talk to venue. Them. I understand, but we got to take this talk out. To them well, about. No, no, what do you have to say about it? We, we, I'm just a little concerned that, you know, the average person's voice is not heard in government. That's this isn't I mean, government. This is a wedding. True. I know, but government officials... The, I don't know if you know, but you you're did you just important. did you just well actually me well well there well there. I just I, I start squeezing harder now that he well actually me oh, let him breathe let I him just breathe. want to let him breathe, breathe. <laughs> and he's just uncomfortable I uh-huh. very uncomfortable okay uh, Walter, I have a question for you mm-hmm. I can't answer what? I, I, I you can say that it. you can't answer but no. you can answer right yeah I have a question. <laughs> you we've we've had we've had weddings on pierce of all you know how weddings go okay you know how weddings go <laughs> can i ask you what if a masked lord showed up to this wedding what would you do would you ruin shaka's wedding to to try to get at a mask lord? Like, would you would you be a terrible oh. bird like that? Well, of course not. I mean, mm. as I'm sure you remember at the wedding, there's always social time, right? Like you get mm. to meet the other people, like you like I'm not talking about during the ceremony. Yeah, okay. Even still, wait, wait, wait. I wait, mean, during the wait. social time, like you get to know people, and I would just say, Hey, I'm all mm. there. How's it going? Hold uh, on, I I, I have a mission in life question. now, and I'd like to you know have a conversation with you. I have a mission in life, and I'd like to murder you after the wedding. What the? <laughs> fuck? Uh, I would Wait, not. Yeah, leave, know, I would yeah, not do we, leave. Do we with that. yet? Do we yet know mm-hmm. that that's what he's been doing? That from him? Do we know that? I would say based on the. I, I'm assuming Dahani has shared. I would have told. Oh, I would have okay. told yeah, everybody. Good to know. So you okay. have a strong inclination that he is. Uh, Guys, a lot of my proposals have been passing a lot easier at the meeting. I'm just saying, maybe we kind of let them do. Hush. Your oh, okay. Hush. Don't say that in front of Walt there because you do not know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> so, Celise, Celise had something. Yeah. So, I'm just standing there. I'm like, so here's my question. Even if someone is a mass lord and they come to the wedding, what makes you think they're going to be wearing their mask? <laughs> Hmm, good question. Good Brian, point. do we I mean, have I... any mass lords on the guest list? Um why? How are you supposed I... to tell they're a mass lord at the I don't believe I can yes. reveal that information. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't Brian's know. doing no, some like doesn't yeah. know. Come on. No, no, no. Brian's doing <laughs> chat GBT analytics right now where he's exactly. crossing lines and putting oh, I no, did not chat GBT, <laughs> Brian. Oh I, God. that I makes sense. I have some people with a high probability, some people with a low probability. Uh, have we invited have we invited any Lord comma masked? <laughs> Check, not checking, delineation. Checking. checking. No. Thank you. There's no Lord comma masked. So Walt here, there's a fatal flaw in your great plan. Anyone who is a mass lord wouldn't just be out and about. That's the whole point of being a masked lord, you um, dimwit. To be fair, Mert is kind of walking around Mert, proclaiming Mert, Mert, Mert's count. different. Oh, okay. Oh, Mert's on a whole other level. <laughs> well, um and Mert has money. People ain't worried about Mert. Everybody also knows Mert's fair, one yeah. of them, and Walter still hasn't gotten to him, so uh, Mert's different. Mm. Um, I think if Mert had found out about Walter's mission, Walter would not be here. <laughs> I th- I think what we're all trying to say here is Shaka, can I come to your wedding? After this? Oh, I mean. Uh, well, listen, no, it is, is ultimately is, up to the sale. The sale was beautiful. I really and appreciate Shaka the bridge. Is, Shaka is going to roll for this. How is Shaka uh, feeling oh no. about Walter? Well, listen, Shaka is... He, yeah. he, he I want to really... give Walter the help action. I, I don't know. No. I, I don't know no. about this. He just wants no. to go to the wedding, y'all. He just and wants, murder he doesn't people. just want to go to the wedding. Gosworth, well, look, we'd Gosworth's sensibilities him. are maybe a little different, so maybe he feels bad for us slow living people i don't know slow. fast living sorry oh. otherwise that's otherwise. right yeah he just yeah, is like, like listen your lives things, are yeah. too short you gotta just let people do stuff right okay. if people are gonna die they'll die you know we can't so stop like, that 
Uh, but we uh, can't Shaka... stop. We can't stop this man from enjoying a wedding, and that would be yeah. rude. So, uh, Shaka wrote a twenty-eight on persuasion. Shaka kind of thinks, and like he, like I says, you know what? There, I think the best way you can help is maybe secure the perimeter. So maybe you can be on the outside, maybe maybe a five square block radius. You can be on the outside, just making <laughs> sure no mass lords enter because you can see them because you can notice them. So just secure the, I think that would be the best possible way. To have you on the outside, you know, if you, if you need any like help, you can, you know, just uh, d don't come in further though, because I, because like then d you're going to break the barrier. Right. Well, so just, do we feel safe out, with Walter we'll being the you. first line of defense? I like say this to like kind of hint at Walter, like go to his ego a little bit. Like, ah, I mean, yeah. after all, it would be, would be a, it would be an, a secret sort of guardian of the area around mm. the venue. Mm. It'll, it'll just be me and the rest of the FWC, F, FWG. FWG. I kind of like, I kind of like the idea and, that Walter uh, doesn't even know what his, Group is called. He's that's, he that's right. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. It's like real great. <laughs> yeah, it's like the GFW. You know. Oh no! Well, if well, something well, uh, has a name, you can kill it if it has no name. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Um, How yeah, many so, people is that, Walter? How many people? Um, uh, let's just roll straight up. Roll yeah, D one hundred. Yeah, straight up D one hundred. Beautiful. It's ninety nine people. <laughs> I know. Uh, nine. Nine. Incredible. Sod. That's still uh, more than I was expecting. Well, well, well yeah. There's, <laughs> well, 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 there's nine people now, but once uh -oh. I tell people that there's a good job here working this big event, I'm sure more of them will come mm -hmm. back. Because it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And we do yeah. appreciate, we, we do appreciate that perhaps as your gift to Shaka and Dara, that you are mm. more than willing to provide these security services frees up i mean a lot of my budget so thank you while there i mean our budget was actually pretty free oh yeah God, right. it definitely frees up quite a bit mm. all right so now for the purposes of time we will oh yes I, I want you guys to tell me what you assign Laren to do at the wedding. oh uh is coat check okay or uh, is there... uh, uh, uh. Just, I'm throwing out options. Something I mean, there would be some kind of star with. Sure. Yes, they interact with every like, guest that comes. Now, wait a minute. Laren has been working with the biddies and being a very good boy for three and a quarter years uh, at this point. That is fair. That is I, fair. I, I don't know how Virgil feels, but I do think Kent would at least try to give him a little more responsibility than that. Yeah, he, yeah, he'd, be thinking, he, he'd be Kocek, he'd be bartender. Usher. He could I was thinking closer to oh, that. Usher. Like, sure. yeah. 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 Because those always kind of filter out to, you know, Usher yeah. is like, yeah. yeah. Usher is great? Yeah, I like okay. that. All right. Uh, Jerry, is he entertaining people with jokes or is he doing something? Oh, pre-shock? Did, oh. did Shaka make it clear what he'd be okay with Jerry doing? No, but he strongly suggested that he would like him to tell some jokes. So, it, how, well, did Dara, how did how did Dara feel about this? Oh, yeah, suggestion? what was Dara's reaction to that suggestion? That's an excellent uh, question. Wide yeah. eyes, wide eyes. Okay, mm -hmm. the non-answering kind of wide eyes. Yeah. Yes. All right, Jerry's telling jokes. Okay. But it was, <laughs> it was like the wide eyes, like I love this tiefling, but that's an awful idea. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, very tight I set. I think it's a very tight set that is done from his location hanging as our new chandelier in the main hall of the reception. Oh my good. god. That uh, is the best thing. <laughs> Jerry I saw it in your his... eyes. No, I saw it in your eyes as soon as he mentioned him. I knew oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh... Ken's wanted a crystal chandelier for a while. Yeah, yeah he's, I mean? he's enlarged himself to medium size. He's enlarged himself to large size yes. and, uh, you know, like has, has fractalized a little like hook that we can, yeah, you know, so we're not crystals. Yeah. And then from, and then we're like, and we're up there. And at one point, you know, we'll cue you and you tell your jokes from up there to the reception. Love it. Love it. And Clippy. Catering. 
Okay. <laughs> like a running the just making sure the food gets out on time. Yeah. Yes. Or, Only yeah, like because... not not organizing the food, making yeah, making sure that everything goes out when it's supposed to. And... Appetizers. Uh, we had a are long conversation with Gosrick mm. because Gosrick couldn't Gosrick couldn't stop the moss, so mm-hmm. we just didn't want it to turn off the guests. Mm-hmm. So that means both Gosrick and Leaf. Clip is your boss. Uh, yes um I, I should go I, as you should know that, well I, I, don't, I don't know if in, in the kitchen the waiter is in charge of the head chef it's kind of a dance but we'll, we'll hey kind of gosrick uh-huh yes hey gosrick uh this this conversation that we're about to have right now is going to happen uh several months before the wedding hey gosrick <laughs> um so i've asked the biddies if they would cook for the wedding. Because you know Shaka loves her cookies. And uh I think he never gets them. <laughs> he never gets them. And I figured um I, I told them I would do them a solid if they for just like this once did 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 the cookies and did a couple of other things too. Cause you know, the block always smells really good when when the biddies are cooking. Served, you take away from me, and and honestly, that's a good that's a good argument. That's fine with. What does a couple other things mean? The entire menu. What? I'm sorry, sorry. I'm trying to be um calm. My emotions affect the garden that I'm growing these beautiful flowers for. Uh, and you see some of the vines start like kind of like twisting behind and like a form hands that are like pointing at you and like <laughs> reacting to like what what is being said. Like Gazak's Gaz- not talking with his hands, but he's uh-huh. talking with the vines. Uh, Gaz- what is the what is the like safe word that every time you get excitable and almost ruin my flower arrangements, I say to you to calm you down? Oh, oh, it's petunia. It's yeah, petunia. Uh, petunia. Uh, uh, so I'm on, I'm on the plant to control my emotions. It's important <laughs> the growth of these plants. So I, I, I take you like by the shoulder with both my hand and my wing, and I lead you away from the plants. Mm-hmm. It's like a walk and talk. We're sorkening this. And I'm like, okay. Gazric, mm-hmm. I appreciate every meal that you have made for us. Mm-hmm. They are definitely food. Mm-hmm. And uh calorie rich, nutrient dense. Mm-hmm. And I just think that specifically like Dara's guests, like Dara's family, and you know, I think that they should have a bit more than ice spider stew. But I knew that. I wasn't just gonna serve ice spider stew. There was going to be ice spider egg omelets. There was going to be ice spider, uh, like, you know, crab tenderloin. There's going to be, where was going to be a lot of uh, choice and fine. Yeah, choice, choices of the, of the same, of the same kind of creature, Gazer. We, I love you, but we can't do it. I'm not, I will, I will not let it happen. Fine. It's not my wedding. It's Shaka's. Okay. And with that, I still just want you to know. I feel like I kept my cool pretty good throughout that. Really mm-hmm. proud of myself. Leaf is going to have a much harder time with this when you break the news to him that he is also not cooking. I walk you further away from the plants. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's where we can cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So we're a year later. Mm. Wedding oh. time. So, so, so now we're six years post, post. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, we're six years p- after Battle of uh, Yavin. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, I, I, I was trying to think of like some acronym to like use for like for our timeline. Uh, six years <laughs> post BBY. Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. um, uh, <laughs> it's a we use AC after show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Um so um what are we wearing? Uh 
Whoever wants to describe what they're wearing, you can feel free. Can't go first. It's going to take you 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Is he the first or last? Well, what's the like, first? It's, the, the, the it's not. And I'll t- Oh, well. Now, wait a minute. My first stuff. <laughs> no, um, actually, I don't this because it's been a minute. It has, and and my so my first outfit, uh, and second, and third, and probably fourth, um, were like a lot, but actually, Kent has decided because now he's an even more grown and mature person that he is going to wear. I mean, listen, very stylish, very you know tailored, uh, but he's he's going to wear black because today is not his day. Um, he will have that cloak with the mother of pearl that you cannot miss if you try and the, mm-hmm. and the rivals shaped, uh, brooch for the reception when he is done making sure that things are correct. But actually for most of the day, Kent is in a reserved dark, uh, like not draw attention outfit. And it kills him a little. But he mm-hmm. really loves Shaka, so it's fine. Can I ask you a question, Sharif? Yeah. yeah. What are the colors for Shaka's wedding? Oh. Yes. Oh, uh, they. I don't know if there would really be colors. I think it's a little more informal. I don't think there's anything that you can't wear. Mm. Okay. You should wear. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, the colors, uh, if you ask Kent, however, are uh, <laughs> <laughs> purple and I'm trying to think of your uh, your. Spell jammer skin in Idol Champions. Oh, so like yeah. purple and fuchsia and blue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think uh Gosric is wearing the finest robe. Like it's basically what his arch druid robes look like, but tailored without the strong shoulders, a little softer. Um, the hood is down, um, and is uh done in the similar like color scheme of like purple and white i think in some ways of honoring shaka and like where his positioning is um and it's kind of there looking a little bit like a friar in some capacity uh, like the the religious friar not a, a cook um and it is kind of just present um you see him greeting grass like welcome nice to have you good to be present with you please do not touch that flower it will eat you thank you so much <laughs> Oh. Okay, so... hold on though. Why why does Gosrick sound like the usher at service? <laughs> I mean Gosrick he like the greeter. It way, he's he's brought it way down and way in for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of like right. this. It's... So you're you're the greeter, you're you're like directing people to like sign the book. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. As soon as they get in a uh, first line of the fa- also do not be eaten by any of these plants. I think it just needs to be said. Uh Kent asked for a very specific color palette. And a lot of that is both toxic and venomous and carnivorous. So we're just managing. We're making sure that they stay in line. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think Dahani is wearing, uh, you know, it's it's one of her like usual kind of like tunic things, but the whole thing is like a burgundy. Like a dark, a uh, dark red, but her sash is ivory. Ooh. Um, and then uh, similar to her spell jammer skin, where she's got the the um, the silks on her wings. Mm-hmm. There's like um, like gold, uh, jewelry on the wings, and you know a, a little silkiness, and uh, her usual kind of like gold jewelry. It's like a dark red, ivory gold kind of thing. Sorry, I spaced out. Um, Virgil is um, wearing just a dark blue, um, a dark blue robe with silver buttons down the front, and there is inlay on the robe that sort of matches um, Kent's horns and cape. And there's just, <clears throat> sorry, um, and then there's a black, uh, there's a black cummerbund like across the cummerbund area, which I don't know why I lost exactly what that is. Um, it's very, it's, it's very understated and he has just been constantly like reassuring Kent that Kent looks fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, I, I, thank you. Um, it's, it's okay. I, you know, do you think you would mind if I just put a little spark? No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. 
you look great by the way yeah there's been like silvery magic coming off of kent and then fizzling out like this like yeah he's just <laughs> just putting a little illusory like <laughs> accoutrement on it and then be like oh, it's too much it's not my day it's not my day like, maybe just a little no 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 <laughs> <laughs> right Celise. uh since Celise let kent dress her she's in a royal blue um shrap dress that is tall, well, tall, long, but has like a a slit going up the thigh, mm. and like Brian, I'm forgetting the right word for what it is, but kind of like a cincher belt, um, and it's like in this dark kind of silver metal gray, and her hair is actually up in an updo with a few uh few of her luck kind of down and and they're in curls. And surprising everyone, she actually like put on makeup, much like me IRL when I have to. Um, but yeah, she she is dressed for the occasion, and uh, and not not accidentally on purpose. She kind of wanted to like blend in with Kent and Virgil because she's kind of hanging out with them as much as she can. Did then she pull it off? Oh yeah. Did she Whatever. pull a Wonder Woman and have her Holy Avenger down her back? You know, I wasn't going to say that, but it's Celise. She wouldn't go anywhere without that. <laughs> so everyone, it was like, yo, yeah, that's what her cincher is for. So she has a place Just for that the... sword. Yeah, I would say in general, it would probably be like if everybody showed up with weapons, that would be a problem. But if you show up with it, they're like, all right, like we're good. She, she, she's a basically, this fine. Yeah, basically, she has, wo- she has made sure that that the way her sword is there is decorative and matches the outfit. Mm. oh really oh sweet it's, oh yeah it's a matching sword oh, I, I, oh yeah I like that i mean I like that kent did his magic literally well okay um so um uh everybody gets there um you know i was gonna have a whole interest thing but for timing mm-hmm. that uh but um as soon as everybody walks in above you you see this huge crystalline blue chandelier that you've never seen before um but you know what you assigned uh jerry to do so you see just this beautiful ornate um uh thing that looks great um and you see little parts of it just like just like kind of kind of like where like i guess the lights would be on like a chandelier it is changing into different figures that look like Shaka and look like Dara in different like positions. Um, So there's one of them embracing, like there's one of them walking hand in hand. Um, There's like a one of, you know, of, of like uh, them just like talking and it's just changing these scenes back and forth on, on the chandelier. Uh, which is great, and as as, as soon as, as you walk in and you notice the like the like a chandelier, you see what looks like a little wink, you know, like a little, <laughs> little, little little just wink, um, only to y'all. Yeah, um, it's creepy if you don't if, know. Yeah, I don't even know if like anybody else knows that this is an actual thing. <laughs> oh, 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 it's gonna scary. be really upsetting when it starts talking. <laughs> it's like oh yeah, yeah oh yeah. god it's gonna be one of those <laughs> one of those things they talk about in the ward okay yeah oh my god oh my and god the chandelier told jokes <laughs> <laughs> yep. and they were um well yeah. Yeah, we'll roll we'll see yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll see you're um, right we'll see we'll see as people come in uh well after they get greeted by uh Friar Friar Gossery, <laughs> who is uh, laying hands on, on people, possibly uh, um, learned it just became a paladin just for today. Uh, even though he's he's a very short, he's uh, trying his best to lay hands on folks. Um, whoever comes in, you you see. Well, uh, actually, let's say uh, when Virgil comes in uh, with uh, Kent, of course. Um, after you pass uh, Gossery. You see Laren dressed uh, pretty nice. Now, have you yeah. ever seen Laren dressed up before? Oh. Not to this extent, no. He's he's basically always had that same sullen teen, like, 
Yeah. He thinks he looks great, but it's kind of slovenly. Yeah. He's dressed <laughs> like he kind of looks like you know, like a kid going to a prom kind of thing, you know? Like like Aww. like like uh he definitely doesn't own this, but he probably, you know, <laughs> is borrowing it for a night or something. Um, you know? What's his facial expression look like? Uh, I'd say he looks a little bored, but when he sees you, he kind of perks up a bit. Oh, okay. yeah, just a just a, a nod, and you know, kind of like de deliberately making eye contact and nodding and smiling. He's coming up to you. Hey, hi. How how are how are things going? What do you think? He turns around, kind of a uh, little modeling for you. It looks very nice. Where'd you get this? Well, um, it turns out that um, that two things that could happen. One this good, and like I had an idea, but I'm like, no, I want to see what you say. <laughs> yeah, one this good, and one this not so good. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Um. So I wrote a four, which is I was uh, basically going to say that the top ten is good and. Sorry, the bot, bot, yeah, the top is good and, and the bomb, bomb, bomb is bad. So he kind of uh, le 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 leans in and like says, you know, a lot of folks don't really watch your stuff closely. And, and then he leans back. The briefest, like, yeah, like you can tell the vibe kind of passes over Virgil's face and I'm not sure like I, if, if Kent heard there just may be like a, a kind of a tightening on the shoulder like hmm. well they should be more careful and for those who can't be careful we should make sure that their things return to where they expect them later oh, I'm just borrowing it just borrowing it it's fine don't worry about it. I'm glad you're here. Shaka wanted you here, and it's nice to see you're participating. That, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Why do you, like, he doesn't really know me that well. Why do you think he wanted me here? Lately, Shaka's been a little more charitable about giving people chances, and I really think that today he wants... He wants this to be a good day for everyone. So don't disappoint him by, I don't know, making the news story about his wedding about people's missing property and not about his nuptials to his stunning wife to be. He's trying. He is trying. I know he uh, is. I know he is, but, mm -hmm. but he might, uh, but he's got to hear what yeah, today yeah, is so, about. <laughs> so, uh, so he uh, sighs and goes. And. Laird. We. Don't have the best history. I get it. I get it. But. I've learned a lot since I've been here and I'm hoping that we can start anew. We can have a fresh slate, not saying we forget about things that happened in the past, but that we don't use it to judge on the future. You should know, Laren, I was the one who, the first one to speak up and say that you've been doing an exemplary job with the biddies for many years now. I would like that too. It's a two-way street, but I would like that too. Yeah, I, I think I can kind of see, I can see why you guys are together. I had trouble seeing it before, but I can, I think what I can. about this is confusing to you? <laughs> don't, don't you dare answer this question, Lair. I was gonna say, well, ceremony. I feel like start in the next right, twenty minutes. I feel like right then you did a costume change, right <laughs> then. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're right. You're right. Now that everyone's in and we're like, and we're not, I don't have to worry about whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't understand what you could possibly be confused about in regards to this. 
and my uh, reception outfit comes out a little early, but so it goes. Um, and it is a red, uh, red, mm, let's say two inches above the knee length dress. Uh, no shoulder, no sleeves, no shoulder straps. Um, and a little uh, rivals uh, like hairpin, rivals, lo rivals emblem hairpin. Uh, and the hair sort of shakes out. Um. So, so like a Laren kind of chuckles to himself and says, "I'm really happy I'm here." We are too, Laren. Truly, that is that he the should. first time he said that. Like, I think, I think probably in I... like your life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I, 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 I mean, he might have yeah. felt it before, but like, sure, sure, like sure. Just um, pressing I it mean, Vir yeah, like... Virgil's caught it before, but Laren has never said it before. And mm -hmm. for like for a moment, Virgil has no idea what to say. And we're very glad you're here, too. Let me show you to your seat before I start crying show you to your seat it's just dust it's just it's a little dusty in here he quickly says to kent no it's not i'm kidding it's not dusty but it's me <laughs> sweet um <laughs> nice um yeah so um all y'all basically have seats um pretty close up front uh obviously this is not like we're not dividing sides. You know, this is a, <laughs> sure, this is a sure. shock a wedding. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. This is a shock a wedding. Everybody can sit wherever they want. They'll like, there, there are bags. <laughs> there are shock a puzzles. Yes. On every yes. table. Oh my god. Yes, of course. Every table. Yes. Uh the finished version of Shockeration is on one of the tables. Wow. Sure. Better be the finished version. It's a smaller <laughs> one. Okay. It's, it's I was a like, smaller one. <laughs> okay. okay. Which has its own screaming. So okay. Sure. Okay. okay. Screaming, for, <laughs> screaming from the uh, thing. Starts walking um, down the aisle. Um, I did ask Gosrick uh, to kind of make a sort of uh, like an arch of like oh, plants. Yeah, big arch, arch of plants. Um, so, uh, so, uh, so uh, that's that that that's there, and you know, as people are mingling and talking, um, you know, uh, you see, um duo come out uh in his tux kind of um apps on uh there there would 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 be a microphone he just shouts yeah <laughs> just yells you know, real he just shouts mm -hmm. everybody everybody doesn't really work um and then brian and then uh brian who's also in a tux uh yeah. over his uh over his construct body i love that um makes a really loud noise um almost sounds like the noise that he used to use to mind blast people when he was just just a meager just a meager uh evil brain amazing um, and that gets everyone's uh uh attention uh, um and then uh do will says uh, uh, we're, we're about to begin the festivities, but, uh, I don't know if I read this wrong, but, uh, it's gonna be a pretty short wedding. Uh, they're <laughs> definitely glad everybody's here, but, uh, they want to do something a, a little non-conventional. Um, but it's all in love. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then like, he like a uh, looks up and, <laughs> and, and and uh, says, uh, <laughs> I gotta stop looking at this. It's, you do. You know, yeah, it's it's bad. bad. He's like, now I can't stop thinking about like <laughs> of the office. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So so um, yeah. So so uh, so I uh, he looks up in and, and says, oh yeah, don't get a uh, uh, like Shane Liz, It's about to talk. So don't get uh, oh. don't get freaked out, everybody. Okay, <laughs> murmurs amongst the crowd like, uh, "What's like? What's like happening?" And then uh -huh. the Chandler descends a little bit, 
um and part of where the figures were kind of opens up into like a what like what like what what like what what like it looks like a, a mouth and then oh and then this uh, th- this this like a big mouth says hello everybody you might not know me but actually you might 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 remember me from uh uh hey any anybody here ever been to the building joke building a couple years back i mean it's not there anymore but we had we had good times there we had really good times there so everyone i i just want to tell one joke one joke that is that uh just one just to get everybody revved up a bit why are obtuse angles so depressed and then he 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 like looks around and goes eh eh you know like these big eyes like appear on the uh, on the chandelier <laughs> and, and, and are kind of like look, look, looking Gosser around raises his hand from the back is it because they're over 90 That's very ageist. Now that definitely works. In, <laughs> that, that definitely works in some areas, but this is a new era. Uh, the, the biddies are obviously all here, and all throw you a look, guys. I mean, we're all immortal now. You guys, come on. Age yeah. doesn't matter to us. Um, yeah, it's it's because they're never right. Guys. Uh, I, knew like, uh, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, it's, it's because they're never right. Uh, let's let's roll to see how many laughs we get. Uh, oh God. no. <laughs> God, I thought actual stand-up comedy was rough. Mm -hmm. Critical failure. Rolling for it is full. Critical failure. Get critical failure. You know, absolute silence. This is the one time it's matched up. Absolute silence. Now the question is: Do you guys? Oh my god! Try to to my spells. Amp up. Oh my god. Do you do 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 now? This was not funny. There, there's silence. Mm. No, 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 no one tries to. Uh, I, I'm trying to see if I can only distract, but I'm not going to laugh at it. Okay. It's not how, come now. How are you going to try to? Distract? I don't know. It's been three years. I have more bard spells that I haven't picked yet. I'm trying to find one. <laughs> okay. Well, well, as, go on, uh, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as, as I can't, is like looking. Say, <laughs> just saying words and seeing if silver comes <laughs> out of my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, okay, to like, uh, so, so, so like yourself the chandelier says thank you and then starts to descend more mm-hmm. and, okay and then the chandelier forms into a huge sphere like a huge oh a disco ball mm-hmm. a big one though a big one. yeah of course right? and then you see like some light kind of like appear inside of the sphere mm-hmm. and then the sphere opens up Shock and Dara are inside of the wow. sphere. That's cool. uh, uh, they are they 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 are dressed in uh, uh matching suits, basically. Mm-hmm. Um and 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 their suits are, are are like pink and blue. Um and they uh have rings on their fingers and they say uh we got married in the sphere in this bubble thing we did all the stuff everybody have fun enjoy the puzzles yes (laughs) ceremony's over everyone honestly everyone enjoy yourselves honestly i respect it i'm not even mad i mean people now just get to appreciate all my hard work with these flowers and not distracted by silly words. So I will tell you, y'all, my guess is, well, I'll say y'all playing more than this. Uh, Shaka kind of called a bit of an audible uh, Mm -hmm. with Dara. Oh, there was like an actual like ceremony planned and there was a a planned ceremony. (laughs) Yeah. And Shaka called a bit of an audible. uh, We aren't even close. We aren't even close on it. Like we are still at the top of the list of things that are supposed to happen. He is. As he says this, he is looking directly at all of y'all. Uh, 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 and 
Okay, See. well, I guess we're eating dove tonight. Uh, guys, don't release the birds. Take them to the kitchen. We're not eating those. What? Why? What, the, uh, what are we supposed to do with them? them? Let's send them There's the them no, they'll become an invasive species. Are you kidding me? They're going to overrun the local population. They're not, those, bird, they're not, I didn't get native birds. I do, want, cast, cast, I do want doves overrunning. I do want doves overrunning the forest. Yeah. Ward, I think that, that would. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll those say even like dog pigeons, for a week, okay? Even if you like try to, let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you try to get some of the doves, some of them do escape and there are doves, oh, my eco footprint. Doves swirling around Shock and Dara. Like, as Virgil's it was like looking at Kent, like his hands are in the like do I, like about to applaud, but mm-hmm. looks over at Kent like <laughs> He's mouthing and, like, okay. "I'm sorry to." Uh, you yeah, we're, like basically, we're going to try to get, we're going to try to get an applause thing going yeah. because I have Just been to several leave. real life, actual real world weddings where they pull that crap on the guests, and we're all just like, "Uh, oh, I've never had that happen." Oh wow! Yeah, like, um, like, oh yeah, we got married in Vegas. There's nothing to do here today. I'm like, then <laughs> you just want us to drink. And we got it all night. So, well, no, that's all yeah. fine, but just don't make us go to the church in the first place. Right. Exactly. 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 <laughs> but, but, but as, Sh- as Shaka, as, uh, he like, as he shares this, the band starts playing. All right. Right. There's yeah. music. Uh, I mean, the food is out. Um, uh, I'd say the first one out there dancing is, uh, Laren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lan's out there by himself, uh, just moving. He's just yeah. moving, and he now moved in. He, he, he gets about five minutes to himself, I think, before one of the ditties comes out and dances for like extremely more fluently than someone her age should be dancing. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Mm. Impressive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. And then uh, other people start to join. You guys can join if you like. You don't have. Yes. To. Um. I think I wore uh, this dress to sit at a table all night. Yeah, and uh, yeah, um, as uh, uh, Duo is looking at, he also had this long list of what Poor was going to happen. Mm-hmm. So, like, as he's looking at this list, sort of in confusion, um, so we're going to end today. Oh, yeah. shocking! Dar's unconventional, uh, time gated wedding. Um, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so if you have any questions um feel free to put them in the <laughs> chat and we will uh if we have time after we give our outros we will answer them if not we'll answer them either uh on the socials or um in the post show um so uh let's start going backwards let's start with change but let's start with you you Hi everybody! I'm Ohin okay, MDM Jazzy Hands. Uh, this has been a blast. Uh, we only, I, I don't. Uh, mm. Brian, you and I got to talk because uh, we got the next one, and I don't know. Oh I, yeah, I, mm. yeah, it's gonna be good. Anyway, uh, you can find me uh, in the coming week tomorrow. <clears throat> 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, over on uh, CNE Games Twitch channel with the Penny Epi. Of season three of A Familiar Quest, uh, featuring uh, Brian as Disco, uh, Megan Henrik as Squiddle, uh, Kelly the Opera Geek as Scotty, and Alicia Marie as uh, as Misty. Uh, Alicia will be back with us this week. We got two more episodes left. Uh, they it's been almost a whole week, so I think I can say this and not feel too bad. Now they finally found Pest, and Pest was not what they expected. Uh, so come come check us out for the last two episodes of that. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, I will be back on my channel streaming uh, Tears of the Kingdom because I somehow was live for eight hours on Friday with that and <laughs> did not notice. Oh, um, that makes sense. Um, that yeah. game, you lose it. Uh, yeah, uh, but we will be doing more manageable, normal four hour chunks on Tuesdays and Thursdays going forward. So you can come hang out with me at uh, two o'clock Eastern, uh, 11 a.m. Pacific on my channel, twitch.tv slash DM Uh And then that is it for my week, I believe. And. Hi, yes, uh, I am Brian, Urban Bohemian, pretty much everywhere. Um, I will also be on a familiar quest tomorrow. We have two episodes. Oh, we have like two more episodes of Rivals, two more episodes of a familiar quest. Yeah. Oh, I, know. I have feelings. Okay. Um, 
I'll also be streaming <laughs> on my own channel on Tuesday. I don't know what I'm going to be playing. It is not Tears of the Kingdom, so I have, <laughs> I have not fallen down uh, the Zelda hole just yet. Uh, on Friday, I'll be doing a watch party of Citadel. Shut up, Citadel. Um, doing an Amazon Prime watch party of Citadel, which is a cool, like, it's honestly sexier than it has a right to be spy series. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I'll be streaming. And next Sunday, we won't be here. Then the following Monday, and then the following, following Sunday, we'll be back here. And um, yeah, no, I'm going to have to live with Zelda hole forever. We need to ban you, Hideo. Somebody clip it. You. Somebody make a GIF of it. <laughs> Go. Uh, Taya. I don't know if I want to follow after Zelda Hole. <laughs> um, My legacy is to back. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm basically working a whole lot. And uh, when I do stream, it's been the morning before work. I have fallen down the Zelda Hole. I'm not as far <laughs> as uh, as Eugenio or Sharif or uh, I believe Masood. Mm -hmm. So uh, may stream later today. Depends on... Um, how easy it is to you know find groceries and food on today mm -hmm. so uh so yeah basically catch me in the morning before work if i stream and if not on the weekends and then here hanging out with these folks hi uh, see ya oh uh hi uh i am here um <laughs> hello uh wow i just snorted jesus christ uh find me on twitter uh at my name. I'm disappearing for a week. Do not come and find me. <laughs> Very mysterious. Good enough. Yes. Good to know. Suit. Hey, I'm a suit. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marudeboy, M A H R U D E B O I. Um, yeah, I'm just doing rival stuff. Tweeting out. Um, I got some shows happening in Chicago. Uh if you are one of those people who are, are out late and likes to enjoy comedy, guess what? I'm doing a show uh, this Friday night at Second City called Late Night Date Night. And I'm serious when I say this, and I need to remind myself when I say this. It starts at 11 p.m. The show begins at 11 p.m. If you are part of the folks, I I, I will be there. And I, you know what? I'll be having a good time. Truly, we it, it also it starts at 11 p.m. So expect that type of energy. Uh, we'll have a blast. <laughs> I just have to remember myself of that uh but yeah if you're in chicago and you want to come see some great comedy come check out late night date night uh this friday night um otherwise you can catch me the following sunday not this upcoming one but the one after with these wonderful folks again playing rivals um yeah that's me you'll see me around on the internet maroon boy you know it's good throw it to sharif pm to drink minimum mm -hmm. you know, you know no I'm drink gonna... minimum just a ticket and minimum. then afterwards you have to tell me i was the funniest on stage that's okay it. <laughs> so so it is a two drink minimum. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, it take you two drinks to tell me that, Sharif. Does it really take you two drinks <laughs> to say, be able to say that to me? It depends on the drink, right? Okay. If 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 it's like a Michelob Ultra or something, maybe yeah. maybe five. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Uh, I'm Sharif. Uh, not streaming anything else. Um, still in the midst of grading, but almost done, guys. Almost done with the semester. Um, and yeah, I've, I am. I am. <laughs> I guess I have to say it. I'm in the Zelda hole. As well. Yeah. Um, and I'm having a blast. Um, okay. uh, yeah. So um, I guess we have one quick question, but we are at three. So why don't we actually answer that either on socials, <laughs> either on socials, or, I really have the closing chat, or 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 uh, in in the after show. So um, everybody, remember we have two episodes left. We are gearing toward our our series finale. Crazy to say um but uh yeah it's uh been fun mm -hmm. um feel free to um comment on us on the youtube or on, on the tweets and stuff all that good stuff to let Dr. us know i don't um, want to go dot gif <laughs> yeah that's yeah exactly yeah. It's and, unbelievable. and remember that we are not meeting next week like our episodes now are every two weeks so mm -hmm. we will check you out in two sundays um with the uh any happy all right everybody have a great two weeks and we'll see don't leave though because we're gonna go raid somebody oh we're yeah we, we we are gonna raid oh, let's read that. uh yes so uh we are we are gonna raid uh the opera opera geek. Geek. yes hey. um so don't go stay and tell her that we said what's up when you get that raid call all right i will i will start us a raid 
And also, thank you to everyone who supported us on Indiegogo because yes, we yes, literally please. could not yeah. do this without you. We thank you all thank so you. much. See you in two weeks. Bye. 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 Bye.